We've got a mail bag. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. A little small. I thought I had some more, but we'll open these up and see. All right, first one, electronics. Some kind of breakout boards, I think. Let's see. Just two of them. I think I needed this specifically for something. It's a QFN 28.5 millimeter. I think this is maybe for CP2102s or some kind of uh, gyroscope. I was going to test breadboard and test it out. I don't remember. We'll figure it out later. I'm sure it's on my project list. I don't have that kind of breakout board, so. All right, next, insulated terminal. So these are those um, these are those ferrule crimpers. I don't have a crimper for ferrules um, specifically, but you should still be able to use them just with a normal crimper, or maybe I can make something that'll circular crimp it a little better. But these go to the end on, on the ends of the, your bare wires. You know, you stick your wire in there. And you crimp it, and this way you don't have um, fraying wires when you put it into a, a, a screw terminal, terminal block, or whatever. Uh, these are rather large. I'm not sure. I thought I got the smaller, the smallest size, but they seem pretty big. Hmm. Let's see what gauge I got. All right. Next. PCB fuse holders. That might be for um, AC wiring. I plan on doing some AC projects. Um, and that's also why I bought these. These are PCB mount fuse holders. My problem with getting these Chinese fuse holders for real cheap is that in North America, we don't really use fuses this size. We use um, the longer glass ones. Um, and I don't know what, I don't know anything about fuse sizes. I always forget it's like 15A or something like that. I don't know. It's the size of it, whatever, 21, 15, I don't even know, millimeters maybe. This seems like a rather small fuse. But it's got a cover and you could put it on a PCB. So that seems like it'd be ideal for a, you know, a power project where you're, you can't touch it. It's safe. And if it blows up, it doesn't escape it. Those seem pretty nice. I think I bought two different kinds. We'll see what the other one is. Alright, uh, modules. I always like a module. Still have, I have enough modules to prototype pretty much anything ever. All right, this is. Um, I already have one of these. I think. I think I bought another one. This one is obviously not real. Hmm. The other one I have is uh, genuine. This is. This looks fake. It's got a plastic cover instead of a potting slot hmm this is a uh, 5 volt 0. 0.6 amp 3 watt high link AC DC converter um, Interesting, I maybe I can compare this. Maybe I bought a cheap one to compare to the good one I bought to see if these are acceptable. Again, this is in line with an AC project that I might be working on. 
the mains power. All right, next connector cable. Um, this is not a connector cable. This is um, USB connectors. Oh, okay. Uh, I, only, I just bought a sample, a sample uh, amount. This is a, um, these are the USB connectors with the metal pins on the back side. So they're even a little bit stronger than the through hole. They have the two through holes in the middle and they have two through hole metals on the back as well. So it's a four hole uh, USB connector. And this is, these are probably the best you can get for well, there's one that's better that has four prongs parallel to each other on both sides, and they are beefy. Uh, this one's this one's aluminum, so it's probably the you know the in between. So and the other ones I think are steel. These are aluminum. Um, so these are probably more more for lightweight projects, but still have a secure, pluggable charging port or something. So I'm going to try those out if I have problems with USB ports ripping off or I want to develop something that you constantly plug your USB port into, that would be a better choice. All right, next, computer parts. I don't know what this is. feels funny. Oh, wow, I just ordered this like the other day. This is a retractable USB 3-in-1 charging cable. This is nice. This is a, these are metal. This is, this feels like a thick silicone. That's metal. Really strong. Yeah, this, they're all, all the connecting connections are metal. So this is, um, Kind of similar to these cheap things. These are only about like a dollar or two. Um, and I use those a lot, but I thought I'd get something really nice so I could just leave it on my desk and then have the ability to charge anything. My phone running out of battery, plug it up. Laptop, lightning, USB-C, lightning, and USB micro. And, uh, you know, you could probably plug in multiple things at the same time if you wanted to. Everybody's been putting these stickers on stuff lately. I, I don't know what the deal is, but it's really starting to piss me off. I think um, this has something to do with the reshipping. People are um, reshipping things out of China so that, to avoid the tariffs. So I'm getting a lot of packages from Malaysia and the Philippines. So that's probably what that is. Well, that was a very uh, unexciting mailbag. Not really much going on here. This is really nice. I gotta make sure that it's got data though. And that piece is real chunky. But uh, it's, it's still pretty small to carry all three cables with you. Nice. I did have more packages. I, they must have fell down behind something. Four. Four more packages. So we'll just do a, a bigger. Malbec. This says uh, isolated switching board. idea what this is. This is a tiny little AC-DC converter or AC to AC. I can't tell. Oh, no, there's a bridge. Um, let's see. Neutral line, plus minus out. Uh, I think this is three volts. It's a really, probably really shitty 
power supply. But I thought I'd check out these really cheap ones and see what they're all about. See if they're good for anything. Oh, got to read uh hmm. Gear plate. Okay. Oh. These are caps for the end of um, DIN rails. Just go on the end. Uh, I have one right here. So if you have um, if you have a rail on the end, so if you have a connector on the end. They put stickers over these bags and you can't reuse them. It's really pissing me off. Um, and you just put that uh, on there like that. And it just covers that up. And you can use them as dividers too, between things. And that's all there is to it. Oops. They just snap in. Jeez, if I can get the line up again. <laughs> you know, so, that would, so that would go like that, and then you'd have a divider between, you know, two things. All right, next is uh, RGB common anode. I just bought these and I must I bought some more last night. So look, you can't use the bags because they put the freaking stickers on them. <sighs> these are uh, RGB LEDs. Uh, I think these were the high brightness ones I bought. If not, I bought some more last night. I probably bought the same ones. So stupid. I just bought some of these last night. Anyway, there's a red, green, and blue dye in there, and it's got a common anode, and then it's got the three RGB power, and you can control them with, uh, you know, PWM or a controller made for that. All right, next, this is obviously some kind of roll of something. Don't know. This is some kind of, I think this is that thermal, some kind of heat resistant braided tape. I wish they didn't destroy it like this. It's all mashed up. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be heat resistant. I don't know what, exactly what it's made for. Some kind of wrapping tape. Let's see where the seam is. Yeah, it's, so it's like a fiberglass tape. It should be um, flame resistant or heat resistant. I'm not really sure. No, it's not. <laughs> Definitely not flame resistant. I'll cut that all over me. Seemed like there was carbon in there. You see the color? So maybe it's fiberglass tape. So it's a heat resistant tape. Um, it cuts real easy. I'll have to look up what this is for. This might be for like a door seal. It's definitely not fire resistant. It might just be a heat resistant tape. But um yeah, I'll look it up and see. It's probably for my reflow oven to wrap something or close some holes up or something. Or to put in the seams. I don't know what temperature it goes up to, so I'll have to check that. We'll see. But, maybe it's copper tape? 
think it's just fiberglass. So that's it for now. Till next time.